right, so I'm gonna go ahead and record this. We are gonna be drawing this Corbusier chair. Um, and then what we're gonna do is also then draw your own chair. So you can see the elements of what we're doing. One of the things about this chair is, let's get some new sheet here. Um, the chair is actually deceptively um, interesting and, and it's a little hard to see here. Let me see if I can brighten it up a little bit. So Corbusier was an architect and he also designed a lot of furniture. Uh, this chair is kind of deceptive in that it's kind of like an ectoskeleton. It's really essentially one, two, three, four or five cushions uh, wrapped with this metal frame. So it's actually very sim simple, um, but it's, um, it's, it's a really smart design is the best way to put it. Um, using kind of minimal, but you know, you essentially have four, uh, four rectangular cushions and then this little base just held together by this metal bar, all right? So I'm gonna draw this and again, it's gonna look something, something like this and then your own little chair. But what we wanna do is look at the same thing that we always do is drawing to these uh, vanishing points, but we'll use them for both objects. So I'm obviously not gonna trace over this, but what I'll do then is draw my horizontal line. Um, you know, if you look at an object like this, you can tell, you know, we're looking, um, we're looking uh, above it. So I'll go ahead and just make a line here. All right. So take my horizontal line. And then again, the farther they, the, they, the um, vanishing points are, the less fish eyed it'll be. And so, you know, I'm not going to trace over this, but I'm just going to make myself, just like all our projects, really looking at starting with a little rectangle. So just do something like this. And I'm going to essentially, you know, this chair is, is nice because it's a cube. So I'm going to essentially just make a cube. Uh, and again, I am, I'm not tracing this. It's my own vanishing point. So whatever it is, it is. Uh, one thing I would say though is, you know, you're going to have to use your uh, your eye on this and try to try to match it up. So here's what I've decided is going to be the overall size here. Uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and get this a little bit closer for everybody. All right, so there we go. All right, so there we go. And so let's go ahead and again, I'm, I'm just going to be referencing this. So I've got to, I got to make a, a cube here, best I can, and try to keep a por proportion. All right. So, you know, there is no magic formula, except I'm, you know, think of a Rubik's cube or something. The other thing you can do is also kind of kick out the, the back. So, so it's coming down to your, like a three point where maybe your belly button is. Um, and that, that'll also help the perspective. All right. So something like that. Um, one, oh, it froze. Come on, don't freeze. All right, so there it is. One of the things um, that is nice about drawing something like this, your your eye is very forgiving. I can already tell that this this side might be a little big and that's a little short, but just so long as you're in perspective, your drawings, your eye is okay with it. Uh, but when you when things are not in perspective, it just doesn't work. So just so long as you're doing something in perspective like this. Um, your eye will be very forgiving. All right, so I've got a basic cube. And so now I'm essentially going to really eyeball this and figure out, okay, so where's, where's this, um, uh, where's the, sorry, uh, where, where is the, uh, the cushion? And I'm just gonna design this really, you know, so I could just kind of eyeball this real quick here, um, you know, something like this and try to figure this out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a cushion here. So hang on. All right, so. All right, so here's my cushion here, um, something like this. And uh, it's actually off the floor. So if I'm, I'm referring back to my drawing, I'm gonna give some space, kind of take it off the floor a little bit. Feels a little tall to me anyway. So let's take a little bit off the bottom. So that's gonna be the floor, something like that. All right, so. And I'm just gonna, you know, this is just a cushion. So I got these cushions. Remember, whatever's closest is gonna be bigger. Um, all right, so let's, let's all right, do something like this. So this is a, a fairly simple in terms of how you draw it. Um, 
because I'm, I'm again just making these cushions and then like, okay, which is, oh, that's the cushion is here that goes to the end. I think I've, I've made this a little narrow, but that's okay. All right, so then I've got another cushion. Um, so this is something like this. Again, just going to the vanishing point. And I think mine is a little deep, but that's okay. All right, so that's essentially it. Um, you can see what I've done here. So I've got the cushions. Then I've got this little ectoskeleton frame here. And what you can do though is you can also, as you go along, we can we can curve these corners, not make them so hard because it's really, you know, cushions aren't supposed to be hard like that. So I can soften things up um, and do things like that. All right, so. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to try to get some rid of some of these lines. I'm going to put the, the base on here. So again, I'm just looking, this appears to be in the center. So I, I figure out the center of this, um, of this one here. And the center, easiest way to find it is to just go like this. And that's going to be the center. Do the same on this side. And again, I'm just referring to this drawing here. So I want to draw these coming down. So probably come over like this. And then this goes over to this vanishing point. So you, you, you really, oops, you really just want to be um, referencing the, the drawing as much as possible. And so I've got this, something like this, all right. So again, your eye is very forgiving if you're drawing it in perspective. If you're not drawing in perspective and it's something's off, it just, your eye will never accept it. All right, so there's that side. Coming down on the other one. And I don't expect yours to be perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna essentially try to clean this up a bit. And so the best thing I can do is just darken all these lines. Oops, I, did I do that wrong? Uh, okay. All right, so then I'm just gonna go around and darken this whole thing up. Again, I'm really just making a, a really, um, just taking a cube and just working within the, the, the cube. I feel like mine's a little deep. And so now what I want to do is after I'm done with this, I'm going to draw my own design, draw my own chair. And that's what I want you to do, all right? So, all right. so I, I think I, I have the essence of this. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could add shadows to it. Um, there's a lot more we can do. Oh, there's another rail down here. If you look there, I missed that. I'll put another one on there. All right, so that's the essence of that chair. Um, I could 
add some things here on the bottom to give us a little bit more gravity. You could spend a lot of time just really fleshing this out. And you do want to kind of kill these edges the best you can. Uh, so the things you could do is, you know, it's going to be darker inside. So you can you can do some shading. You you want to you don't want to get crazy with your shading, but usually things in, that are closer to you are going to be brighter, and things that are farther away will also be darker. So you can go in and just kind of darken some things up. Um, this also has a metal frame. I, I noticed here. There's a metal frame on the bottom, so I want to probably add these little details. It is a very uh, deceptively simple but complicated chair. It's it's a very smart design. All right, so there we go. All right, so there's that chair. Um, you could put shadows in here. There's a lot you could do to, to, to ground this. It feels like it's, it's floating a bit. So people will, will typically put some shading just to ground the, the object. You want to be careful you don't go crazy with the shading, otherwise it just takes away from your object. All right, so there it is. Now what I want you to do and everybody to do is we're going to design or draw your own chair. And so what I'd like you to do then is use the same vanishing points that we have here um, and to, to do it. So for example, um, you know, I would draw a chair, um, imagine it's in the same room or something like that. Um, all right, so I feel like I need to spend a little bit more time on this, but it's okay. All right, so, all right, so, um, you know, what I would do then is for another chair like this, I would just, again, I want to use the same vanishing points. So, I would do something like figure out where the base of the chair is and just go from there. And so uh, let's see what this one's gonna look like. So here's the, the, the base of my, and I really haven't thought much about this. I've been drawing the same chair. I think what happens to me as a designer is until I make the damn thing, I just keep drawing it over and over again until it's done. So I've got this chair that I designed when I was like 22, when I was, designing furniture for a living. And one of them just never was very practical. So I never made it. Okay, so this is coming up here and my seat's gonna be like here, this is a little taller than the couch. Again, everything, you you wanna just have a sense of where your vanishing points are. I, I, I When I start doing this, I'm less, um, I'm less focused on just hitting it perfectly. So here I go. This is my own little creation. So there's my seat up here. Uh, here's my my front leg. It's got this little rocket shape, I guess. I probably would never draw this if I had made it, but since I never made it, it's like it's like uh, as a as an artist or designer, it just never leaves your psyche. And so it's the last one of the last products I really worked on, and just never executed it. I just never had the time. So there's my kind of the top. So again, now I'm just designing my own thing. I, this, it may not, um, it's not gonna be perfect, but so here's the front of the seat, right? So it's gonna do something like this. This material has got some depth to it. Right, so the front legs and the back legs don't have to, but they usually match up. So you want to, I want to make sure I'm, I'm taking that uh, into consideration here. So then the, the back of my chair is going to, there's, I made, it might be hard to see, but I have a little box. Oh, Dominic's here, sorry. All right, so I've got a little box here. So this is the back of my legs. Um, Trying to keep all this proportion. All right, so what you're going to do then is design your own chair right in perspective so you know just think of it as doodling but it's important that you try to draw this now again i can add some shading on the bottom just to just to clean it up here and then i gotta figure out what this back's gonna look like so the back is now going appears it's gonna go up to my horizon line which is fine uh it's gonna go something like this 
I'm not sure what the, how the back legs, what the stance is. Still got to figure all that out, but it's okay. So there's the back of this thing, and then it's going to do something maybe like this, all right? Maybe a little tall. So again, we're just kind of doodling. Again, so you know, the top of my chair is the, it needs to go to the vanishing point, and it actually does. So I got lucky there. So there's the back of this little beast. Um, and I could probably spend a lot more time on this, so. But you get the idea. So I just want you to draw and design your own chair in perspective along with this Corbusier chair, all right? So, questions, comments, suggestions? Let me just finish this one up. I know, so this has got this weird, there's a lot that needs to get sorted out here. I don't like how this, it's so thick up here, so I'll probably just have that go to a certain point here. And right, this feels like it's too... All right, so there's some things I got to work on, I, I feel like, but you get, the, you get the gist of it. Maybe this goes up to there. I don't really know what ha what's happening here. So I would probably start working on this back end a little bit more to see if I can flush that out. It's doing some funny stuff for me. But you can see as you're drawing and designing, trying to work things in perspective, just to just to flush out your ideas. So there's there's things I would work on. So I might detail this part out here, try to figure out what the heck is going on there. Like, what does that joint look like? Um, you know, so I might try to get a little bit bigger. Anyway, okay, so, um, you know, that's what you've seen here though, is we're using the same vanishing point. It looks, it feels a little short. I'm not gonna lie, I can't help myself. I uh, feel like the legs need to be a little taller. That's okay, I can just do something like this. But that's, you know, what happens then, is I would take this and do, if you remember on our last exercise where we did orthographic views, but once I'm happy with this, then I would take it and create my front, my side, maybe top view, and, and then I could scan that into to the, my 3D modeling software. But I, I got a good sense of what this looks like. Again, when you get on the computer, it's very hard to really design and keep your, your vision. So it's always helpful to have a, a nice sketch to as your base. Okay, so there's another leg back there somewhere. All right. So everybody's, don't design my chair, design your own chair. Okay. <laughs>